Today is April 17, 2011. I'm very privileged to be in front of Tata Ikpi, the Yamba of Biko Biko in Ogep. Teacher, I beg teach. You explain to me how the, the selection process for your entry. Please, can you repeat that? In 1985, my father, who was a member of the Ebe Society, died. I'm here. Your father, or a close relative of yours, who is a member, must die first before you can be considered to be a member of the Ebe Society. You may desire to be a member of the Equal Society, but we may consider you as not being worthy, not a fit and proper person to be a member of the society. So from 1985, I was an ordinary member of the Equal Society, finished all the stages. And then 1997, I was called upon to be the chief of what we call a doctor. That's in our local palace, what we call a doctor. It was done like this. You do not campaign for it. You do not lobby for it. I was a very young man. Very young man. I did not know that the elders who were members of the Ekpe Society, including the then Obong Ekpe, and had a series of meetings and considered me fit to be in charge of the battle, which is like his vice president, sort of. So I was sitting down here one day, I was asked to come out. And I saw the schedule of all the members, all the elders of Ekpe, the elders, to grab it a calabash of pan wine. I was afraid. I thought I'd fallen foul of the law. I'd done something wrong. They asked me to cool down. That while they were here, was to come and inform me that I had been selected, I had been chosen, they had decided that I was to be in charge of the data. I was scared because Ekpe is something that I like, something that I respect, and something that I fear, even though, something I'm afraid of, even though I am a member. So for you to come and be asked to be second chief of it, not only is it a great privilege, but it is also very humbling. I was not asked if I wanted to be. I was only being informed that I was from the very moment that they told me that very early in the morning, but I can find a more maybe about six or so. Uh, I was not given the option of refusing. So I had to buy drinks to complement what they came with. What I don't know was how many times they had had meetings to finally come to that decision. Now, after setting, the Obong Ekpe himself, his name is, or was since is there, Ete Uchong Edet died. I had to take his place immediately. Automatically. I had to go get myself ready to assume the duties of his office. Like I said earlier on, because it is, how can I say it? Ekpe is government here. It's government. 
there are certain things you do and take it to court, magistrate court, high court. There are certain things you take it to the Ekpe court. You have authority. And nobody will question that authority. If I pass judgment on you, if you are falling foul of the law, particularly customary traditional law, and you go to the court, magistrate court, high court, you will be referred to me. And I have to see to it. So, like I said, it was very humble. But I didn't have any choice. That is how I became a bone prayer. We are bone prayer. We are welcome and we could go. And immediately, I had to do what we called Kuali Kerb, which is show your compound. Let us know where you come from. That involves killing of goods, killing a lot of food. Pan wine, you can't count how many gallons of pan wine and things. In fact, all the Yamba experts, all present, the clan head was there. Everybody, all the things were there so that I can be identified as the Yamba. And uh, the selection process is a mystery to me because I was not part of it. All I know is that I found myself as a young I don't know what more I can say. You said all the Yambas came. How many were the? How many Yambas are? I can't count. They came all over from there. The man who you replaced. Yes. <coughs> you said you did some things with his um, to help bury him. Can you describe that? Oh yes. As he died. I had to use our native gin to wash his body. I'm not saying that is standard practice, but that is what I had to do. Use native gin to wash his body, clean it up, because he died in the evening and I had to bury the following day. And I had to make Ekpe go there during his burial ceremony. Mboko was busy crying. Woo, 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 woo. Till he was buried. Till after he was buried, we were still there. Then now, for me to come and be Iyamba, there's something we call Ifamba. I had to stand on his grave, on top of his grave. That's a totally different ceremony. I had to stand. I had to stand on his grave. Food had to be cooked. Drinks, meat, a duck. Not a goat this time. A duck. A duck. Not a goat this time. A duck. Duck. A bird. Duck. The bird. Yes. Duck. Everybody had to come. And I did the farm by, which here, in my to here, is the last thing you have to do to be a member of Ekpe. So that is when members of Ekpe are sitting down. You can say, Oyeba, Ekpe. Oyeba, Boko. Oyeba, Nkanda. Only very few of us can add to Yeba Ifamba. There's nothing else left to do. I had to do it. Standing on top of his grave. His name is Chief Ujong Edet. The one that took over from Siam of the Balkan Biko Biko. Samo. Sometimes 